Hey everybody, welcome back to Promax Academy. Glenn Fricker here, your resident Reaper guy. And uh, got a real quick one for you today. All we're gonna do is show you how to set up a new project in Reaper. It's dead simple, it's super easy. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna load up Reaper, hit file, new project, and nothing happens. So head down to project settings because you've already got your projects up. Your project settings are here. You, you can set your sample rate by, by this drop down menu here. I usually record 44.1 kilohertz. I always record at 24 bit. And uh, we're gonna take a look at there. So 24 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Some guys record at 48 kilohertz. You can do 88, 96, 192, that kind of thing, all depending on how powerful your machine is, how much space uh, you wanna waste as well. Um, a lot of that stuff records frequencies way above the spectrum of human hearing. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I should really explore that and see exactly what happens. But in the meantime, yeah, 44.1 kilohertz. You can set your project tempo here, time signature, all that good stuff. Uh, what your time base is going to be. I always work with beats. Uh, you know, your, what time you want your project to start at, um, start measure. And then there's resample mode. So if you bring in files with different sample rates, it's gonna have different modes. So if you've got a project at 44.1 and you wanna bring in a 48 kilohertz uh, sample, it will just automatically resample it. So media is going to give you a place where you can put the files, path to save files, secondary recording path, that sort of stuff. Or import media to project, use global preferences. So you can copy media to project path, do not copy media. So, that means if you just if you import a file, it's going to drop it into your project folder, which is really cool. Again, you can set up a special project folder for wherever you want it to go that can sit differently than where your actual project edit decision list file will be. Now, when it comes to actual file bit depth, for years I've been doing 24-bit PCM. Uh, you can go to floating point here. 64-bit uh, floating point kind of give you a little bit more to go with. It might actually work a little bit more efficiently with a 64-bit operating system. Whether or not you can actually hear a difference or remains to be seen, but I think you're gonna be absolutely fine Either way you go, um, I don't really do any video stuff, but it does have your various video frame rates, which is pretty cool. And uh, in your advanced settings, you know, track mixing bit depth, 64 bit float, which is default, that's great. So we can still go 24 bit uh, wave bit depth and then uh, go 64 bit float mix engine, which is probably what I would go with anyway. I've been working with it for ages. I've never noticed a difference. And uh, you can make some notes on whatever the project was, band was, who played what, all that kind of crap. Hit OK, you're good to go. And then you can just hit Command T, start loading in, your, adding in your tracks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can name them, track one, say guitar, bass, drums, you know, that sort of stuff. And then set your inputs and all that, that kind of good stuff as well. Pretty simple operation to set up a project in Reaper, no big deal whatsoever and then you have got of course you can save your project as say we're going to save this as a test one and uh as you progress one of my absolute favorite features about reaper is the save new version of project and it's just going to save the same file name with another number on the end of it so you can record it and um, save your project in stages as you add more things. So if you really mess something up, you've got earlier versions. See so if we go to open project here, test one, two, three, all these right here are all the different versions I just saved. That's a huge bonus in Reaper. I use that all the time. It saves me from you know having to write new file names all the time. It just does it automatically. Wow, what a great way to work. So there you go. That's a very simple way how to set up your project in Reaper. No big deal. Like I said, go with the 24-bit file size. Go with the 64-bit mix engine. Uh, it's working pretty well for me. Probably going to work pretty well for you as well. All right, before we go, don't forget to check out my free downloads. Got my cheat sheet, my heavy drums ebook, all for free. And uh, you can also check out some of my premium lessons available on Promix Academy. I've got prog metal, math rock, and even symphonic folk metal. They're all part of the package if you want to get a discount that way as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.